Hey friends, I'm Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. Today I will review a very special portable car media screen. This is very different to the other screens I've been testing on my channel. And the main difference is that this Padofo car media screen comes with a full Android operating system, which means that we can download many apps on this device from the Play Store. It's got a very large 10.3 inch ultra clear HD screen that runs on the Android 11 operating system with 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. It's got the standard navigation, USB, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, Wi-Fi and the standard Bluetooth with many many other features. So guys let's first do a quick unboxing to check out the contents in the box. All right, so we get this is the main screen. So this is a 10.3 inch uh, HD screen. And uh, let's come back to this in a while. Let's check out the other contents in the box. The user manual, the cigarette lighter. This is for uh, the power. This is a adapter to connect with the cigarette lighter and the other end connects with the screen. We have uh, the aux cable this is to connect uh, for audio so you can connect this uh, one end with the screen and the other end with the aux socket uh, in your car uh, you get an external gps uh, adapter in case you want to use uh, the navigation app on this screen now the other option of using the navigation app is the through the apple carplay or the android auto system for that you would not need uh, a GPS um, adapter but if you want to install the Google Maps or Waze or any other navigation app on the screen itself then you need to connect this uh, with the screen all right so that's it this is all we get inside the box uh, now let's have a closer look at the screen and now as I said earlier this is a 10.3 inch uh, ultra clear HD screen uh, it comes with a screen protector um, and the mounting bracket attached already with this now this comes only with the dashboard mounting bracket you don't get the suction cup for the windshield uh, mount uh, bracket uh, so you just need to take this off and this is a two-sided sticking tape take this off and then connect it with the dashboard in your car uh, you've got the model here a3372 you've got inbuilt a uh, powerful speaker on this uh, screen as well um, on top you have this power button and in terms of the connections you've got type c for power then you've got av in this is where you can connect um, the rear view camera or the parking camera then you've got st memory card slot the tf card slot and then you also have the connection for the gps adapter and on the other side you get the aux slot this is where you connect the aux cable and then a usb a flash drive um, it's not very heavy again it's a, it's a very nice size 10.3 inch decent screen um, now let me take this out um, set it up on my car and then we start testing the different uh, functions and features of this Padofo 10.3 inch Android CarPlay portable screen so keep watching guys Alright friends, so I'm in my car and I've uh, set this up on the dashboard of my car. Now I'm not going to permanently install this in my car, I already have a screen. So I've just put this on the dashboard to make this video. Um, I've connected a USB flash drive. Um, this is the cable for the power, this goes to the cigarette lighter. And then I also have connected the GPS adapter uh, with the screen here. Now let's uh, switch on the screen. So I've connected it. Um, now it takes about uh, 10 seconds 10 to 15 seconds for the screen to start and uh, take us to the main home page or the Android landing page of the screen all right friends so this is the main home page or the landing page of the android 11 operating system on this uh, portable car media screen uh, it looks very nice as you can see the the clarity of the screen is amazing um, the colors are very nice and even the brightness is is amazing and you can in fact go and change the display settings the brightness the contrast and the colors as well so let me give you a quick uh, tour of this layout on the left side this is the main menu this is for uh, the rear view camera which we have not connected 
connected but uh, you can uh, connect that as well uh, this is home settings and back this is media playing time and date you've got these six preset apps here so you've got navigation bluetooth uh, mirror link this is uh, for mobile screen mirroring then you've got audio out so you can connect the sound of this uh, sys device with either the system of your car uh, or use the inbuilt speaker and there are different ways to connect this with your car uh, then you've got uh, the radio uh, you have the full app list so basically it takes you to all the different apps that are installed on this screen now it comes with quite a pre uh, preset pre-installed applications but I've also installed uh, a few extra ones for the test today but you can see all of these uh, apps on this page coming back here you've got wireless Apple CarPlay and the wireless Android Auto and then you also have some shortcuts for the Spotify music YouTube and the file manager uh, so the first thing I would actually like to do in order for me to start testing the different uh, uh, applications on this we will go and connect this uh, Wi-Fi so basically we go to apps here and then we go to the settings area and um, network Wi-Fi and uh, I should be able to see my mobile's hotspot here all right so the device is now connected with the internet and we can see the signal is active uh, the other thing uh, I would like to show you is uh, the connection of sound which I've already done so I've already connected the, the sound from this uh, screen to the system of my car uh, using uh, the Bluetooth transmission so I have Bluetooth functionality in my car screen I can use that which is a very easy way to do that just simply go and switch it on and then on your car's screen connect it with this uh, with this uh, portable screen now there are a few other options uh, as well so aux audio this is uh, where you actually connect the aux audio cable with the screen uh, so you have the physical uh, cable that came inside the box you connect it with the screen and the other end connects with the aux port in your car you can also do it with the uh, fm transmission so you can uh, connect the screen to uh, the system of the car uh, wirelessly through the FM transmission basically you just need to set a certain FM frequency on the on the device and the same frequency on the radio of your car and then the audio connects with the system of your car uh, so several ways of connecting the sound or the audio from this screen to the system or the speakers of your car and we've already connected that uh, now what we will do is uh, in order for us to test the performance of this uh, Podofo Android uh, car media screen I will start testing some of the important functions and applications on uh, on this device all right so the first app I would like to test is uh, the all-important navigation so let's click on navigation and it's connected with Google Maps and uh, you simply need to go and search for a location and as you can see it's quite fast it's got 2 gigs of ram and 32 gigs of internal storage but it's quite fast to load so we click on start there you go so east on 67th street towards 12d street then turn right onto 12d street so navigation is working uh, which is quite nice and uh, and the screen is quite nice and responsive as well all right, so now let's test YouTube. It's, it takes about uh, around four seconds or five seconds for YouTube to load. All right, so now the sound is connected with the system of my car through the Bluetooth connection. So let's increase the volume. the sound is very nice it's it's very very crisp absolutely no disturbance uh, so quite happy with that uh, as you can see it's quite clear uh, and nice uh, this is a high definition uh, video that is playing um, and the clarity of the screen the brightness colors are really nice um, and then as you can see there's no lag or disturbance or buffering of any sort and this is a, a high resolution uh, file that we're playing or the video that we're playing on youtube as you can see it's very smooth no disturbance so quite happy with the with youtube on this device all right so this screen has a very nice feature called the split screen so basically you can have two applications running side by side at the same time um, so let's check that out basically we go back to the home page 
click on this here and then you get to see all the different apps that are currently open or running uh, so long press youtube and then drag it on the left side and then you can select the one on the right side like this so you can have uh, in fact you, you should switch this so you should have navigation on the left and a video or any other app running on the right side so you know very very convenient if you're uh, traveling with your family or friends and they want to watch something on netflix or youtube they can you know watch it on the right side while you can follow the navigation on the left side and both these will work uh, together so there you go. So this is uh, definitely one of my favorite feature on uh, on this uh, screen and uh, that's because this one runs on the Android operating system unlike most of the other screens in the market that do not run on the Android system so that those screens would not have this functionality of a split screen. So you have something running on the left side, map which is also active and you can play with that as well. So both applications are running at the same time. I've also connected a USB flash drive uh, with some media files uh, with this screen so you can uh, test those as well. So let's go to the file section, um, let's go to the card, USB and I've got so many different uh, videos, music, let's play this uh, high definition video. Oh, looks very nice um, very very nice the, the the clarity of the screen is quite nice all right so now let's look at some of the applications installed um, again i've installed some extra ones but uh, quite a few of them were pre-installed um, now i've connected the gps uh, adapter with it and you can actually go and check the gps signal um, as you can see it's quite strong all right so coming back to the main app list so you've got youtube uh, browser google play store you can install different applications you've got file manager ways if you don't like google maps you can use ways navigation as well um, then you have the video streaming application skygo prime uh, video you've got netflix uh, you've got uh, disney plus and so many others i don't have any logins for these applications uh, so really can't test them but I'm, I'm pretty sure those would be working fine as well uh, but what i can test now is one of my favorite app which is the live tv app um, and i like this because in this live tv app depending on the package that you get uh, you actually get most of the content from netflix prime videos and other uh, you know ott uh, platform so let's click on this now again the app is free to install but you need to get a package so i've just uh, got a, a package a test package to test it on this screen uh, but uh, if you want this you can simply go online and find there are a lot of uh, different packages um, just install the iptv smarters application from the website which is free and then you know install logins or insert the logins for uh, the package that you have so i've got one just for the test today um, and we can in fact go and test some of the channels all right so the live tv seems to be working quite nicely um, no buffering at all uh, you get to see these black bars on right and left that's just because uh, the the aspect ratio of this particular channel uh, you can change that in fact you click on this you get the option of aspect ratio change you can stretch it to have a full screen fit um, you can in fact change it to a smaller one if you want so we have all those options to fit the screen um, but the live tv seems to be working quite nicely it skipped some channels percent raises because they said ceos got five saves as winnipeg wins their third in a row all right the sports center continues shane pinto is handed a 41 game suspension Gosh. All right, so the live TV works perfectly fine uh, on the screen. You know, it doesn't buffer. Um, the quality is quite nice as well. So quite happy with the, with the live TV app on this uh, portable screen. All right, friends. So now let's uh, connect uh, the wireless uh, CarPlay. So we click on this CarPlay icon here. Uh, and the next step is simple you go to your iphone uh, open the bluetooth settings and look for this new device as ec30 click on this use carplay 
and that's it so the now device is connecting with the mobile and it'll take a few seconds um, and then you see the home page of apple carplay uh, like this on the screen so this is a landing page of apple carplay now this connection is is just a one-time setup you need to connect your mobile with the screen once and then every time you switch on the car it will directly go to the home page of apple carplay you don't have to establish this connection every time you switch it on all right so now let's try to connect the wireless android auto now so we click on this android auto icon it, it will take us to this page this is the main connections page um, so you go to your android mobile i've got my samsung here uh, just open the bluetooth let's do it again so let's uh, open the bluetooth and then look for this new device called ac30 there you go ac30 click on this it will start pairing uh, it'll ask for a password which is 0000, zero, zero, zero. we pair the device and, uh, and that's it so it's uh, establishing the connection it will take again a few seconds for the device to connect with the screen here and uh, and again this is a one-time setup you just need to connect your mobile with the screen once and then every time you switch on the car it automatically connects and then takes you to the home page of uh, android auto all right so this is the first time connection on the android auto there you go and this is the main home page or the landing page uh, of uh, android auto you get the map on the left side and the media playing on the right side uh, but again this is the landing page if you want to have a full screen view of the navigation you click on the map and then you get uh, the full view of uh, the navigation um, again i will not explain all the different functions and features uh, but as you can see android auto is also working um, you can click on this and go to the full uh, app view of uh, android auto you get all the different applications available on uh, on this that is connected to your mobile you've got navigation you've got um, phone music uh, so many other uh, features as well that's it friends uh, this was a quick review of this new Podofo portable android car screen uh, we've tested uh, most of the functions and the different apps on this screen and everything worked quite well now here are a few things i really like about this screen first is that this screen runs on the android system so you can actually go and download any app from the play store second is the screen itself it's an ideal size and the color clarity and the brightness on the screen is amazing third is the performance basically when you're running the different apps it runs very smoothly without any disturbance at all then uh, the last but not the least is the ability to connect the sound to the speakers of the car now there are a few things i would ask the makers to improve like uh, adding an additional bracket to mount the screen on the windshield and also adding an internal gps adapter uh, now this screen comes with an external gps adapter which is uh, quite fine with me but i would have loved to have an internal gps adapter with this screen but all in all very very impressive highly recommended uh, to anyone who's looking for a screen especially for cars without any screen and also for cars that come with basic screens which is uh, not uh, a multimedia or a smart screen so friends if you want to buy this car screen just go to the link in the description of this video it will take you directly to the official Podofo store where you can buy this very nice new Podofo portable android car screen that's it friends thanks for watching this video